Fly Gun, welcome to the stream. This tool here is brand new. It can cut with 10 times more precision than the previous model. I had no idea you had something like this here now. I think I might have had to go over the de designs again. Oh, Mom, here you are. Welcome back, Tita. Did you manage to do what I asked? Yep, Mr. Murdoch said he'll take care of the paperwork right away. He's probably working on it right now. But now that I've done that, Mom, I want to be a part of the Orbital Gears development too. Or team two, words. You? Yeah, I didn't write this in any of my letters, but I ended up spending some time with Ren while she was in LaBurl. Even if she's a member of the society, she's also my friend. Ren. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, wasn't she the Pather Matter, the, the girl the Pather Matter belongs to? Uh, Erica, if I might be permitted to say my piece here. Say your piece. Mom, what do you... You better have a damn good explanation for this one, Albert. My daughter ended up making friends with a member of Ouroboros. Why is the first thing I'm hearing of this? Why, this wasn't in any of what you sent me. Well, it was kind of hard to say. Don't give me that. As if you hadn't already exposed her to enough danger to make me want to strangle you and now I'm hearing this. Just what have you been doing with my daughter while I've been away? Mom, I'm serious. I want to be involved in the Orbital Gears development. I'm completely powerless on my own, but I still want to find some way to talk to her. And the Orbital Gear is going to be able to put on, put up a fight on equal terms with the Pattern Matter, right? And I want to be involved, because I want the kind of power that Estelle has. Tita. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... You're not considering using the Orbital Gear to fight Pattern Matter yourself, are you? What? That wasn't what I meant, I... I want to make very sure of this. Do you understand just what we're making here? Well... Well, I only got a quick look at the blueprints, but it looked like a bipedal. That's not what I mean. The Orbital Gear is a weapon. No matter how you try to dress that fact up, that's the reality. It's a tool designed to be used by people to hurt other people. But, you're not making it because you want to hurt people, are you? Even the patrol ships used by the army are made to protect the country, not to hurt people. It doesn't matter what I think, it doesn't matter what the developer of any new weapon thinks. We're not the ones actually going out and using the things we make. The devices we pour our hearts into making go on to cause unspeakable suffering to people, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. Have you ever stopped to think about that? And after having it pointed out to you, can you still say you want power? Well, we're doing what we're doing fully aware of the potential consequences. What potential consequences may be down the line, but can you? You know how much I love you, Tita. And I understand that you care deeply about your friend, I do. But that's all the more reason why I can't permit you to take part in this. Can you understand where I'm coming from? But I... I'm not taking this lightly either, you know. Poor Tito. I appreciate how you feel, Erica. But I'm sure Tita's been thinking about this a lot herself. Especially after all she went through. Why not show her a little more respect? I'm sure she has, but that doesn't mean I can let her be involved in developing a weapon. We researchers don't get a say in how our inventions ended up being used down the line. That's just our fate. That's what we have to accept when we're doing our jobs. That we do. I know where she's coming from, but I absolutely can't let her be a part of this. She doesn't need to be uh, shouldering this. She doesn't need to be shouldering this kind of burden, not at her age. This is such a long sequence. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, but long. I know all of what Mom's saying is true. I know, really I do. But, but then what am I supposed to do? Just sit around helplessly? I know, I'll go and see what Dad thinks. Maybe he'll actually listen to me. He then inserted the card into the slot into the elevator panel. Sorry, hold on a minute. I'll be right there. Really? So she wouldn't give you permission to join then? Nope. 
I understand what mom's saying, I really do. It's just so frustrating not being able to do anything. Well, unlike your grandfather, your mother has been has very clear reasons for what she does. She's an engineer with specific goals and ideals over ones driven by emotion or curiosity. That's especially true for this project, given that the future of Liberal's national defense may end up hinging on it. It was never going to be easy to win her over in an argument about this, I'm afraid. That doesn't change the fact that I want to confront Ren, though. Maybe what I'm saying is childish, I don't know, but it's what I really feel and I'm not budging. Those are some bold words, Tita. I don't think I've ever seen her look so serious about anything before. But even if they're bold, I don't think they're childish. At the same time, I don't think it has anything to do with whether you should be involved in developing the Orbal Gear either. Having it isn't going to make the make confronting her any easier. Tita, confronting someone head-on about something is a very difficult thing to do. Probably more difficult than you realize. You're certainly kind, but that's not always going to be enough to change someone's mind about something once it's made up. I know. Maybe I'm never going to be able to talk to her like I want to be- I want to in the end. Am I doomed to never do anything for her? You backed down when you were arguing with your mother earlier, right? That says to me that the convictions she has are much stronger than yours. You already know that it's not going to be easy to talk to Ren. If you want to succeed, you'll need a stronger spirit than you've got now. Otherwise, you won't be able to really tell each other how you really feel. You'll just back down first. That reminds me of something Agate said once, actually. He said fighting's all about guts. Well, that's not quite like... That's not quite what I'm talking about, no. Really, I'm starting to worry about this Agate fellow. I think resolve is a more appropriate word here than guts. You'll need to have the resolve to express all your honest feelings to her, plus you need to accept hers in return. No doubt it'll be a lot easier said than done, too. Well, I know she's from the society and that pattern matters too strong for me to compete against as I am. Especially because I don't have that kind of power Estelle does. I'm not even confident she'll want to listen to what I have to say. And even if she does, that it'll have my... that it'll have effects on her. But I can't just leave her and do nothing. I can't. Listen, she was part of Ouroboros. She did some pretty bad things, sure. But that's not all there is. I spent some time with her. I went shopping with her. I sat and talked with her, so I, I know what's true. Deep down, she's actually a sweet girl. I'm sure she wasn't faking it either. It's who she really is. She's not some kind of inhuman monster. She's an ordinary girl who was like an excited little kid when we found a cute pendant in a shop. And when I tripped and fell, she didn't hesitate to hold out her hand for me. She's a good person. I still think of her as my friend even now. But after that, she went away from me. Ever since then, her and Pater Matter have always been out of my reach, physically and emotionally. Maybe the Orbital Gear will give me a chance to change that. If I have that, I might finally be able to see a little bit of the world that she does. Maybe she'll be willing to open her heart, even a little, and tell me how she really feels, all while listening to my feelings too. That's why I want to be involved in making it, and I won't take no for an answer. I'm so proud of how much you've grown. What do you think about all this, Erica? What? Oh, she just got played. Mom? How long have you been listening on us? Not long. I only heard the last part of your conversation. Can I ask you something, Tita? Of course. If you finally get to talk to this Ren girl again, and it turns out she doesn't see you as a friend, what are you going to do? It's a, it's a valid question. Exactly the same thing. I'll do exactly the same as I would otherwise. Because I've already made up my mind that I want her to be a part of my life, even if she doesn't want me to be a part of hers. I might not be able to chase her around and try to convince her to come back to us like Estelle can. But I can still try to get to know more about her and Pater Matter. I can make a stronger connection with her through the Orbal Gear. There's nothing stopping me from doing any of those things, right? Whatever makes it so I can be a part of her life, I want to do it, even if it's small. Because that's what friends do. That's how I really feel. I see. Well, I can't help but feel like you're being a little naive, but you got me. I'll accept all you've said as a sufficient reason for participating in the Orbital Gear Project. Really? Really? Now what are you two waiting for? We got work to do. Dan, I've redone the blueprints, so I need you to go over them. Tito, we're gonna start making the corpse prototypes. So I can be part of the development? You promise? Haha, <laughs> we'll see how long that happy face of yours lasts. Now that you're on the team, I'm going to be working you to the bone. I hope you're ready. Yeah, bring it on. Good, are you ready to get started?
Thanks to her efforts, Tita was finally allowed to participate in the Obol Gears development. The familiar central factory was filled with a new sense of tension as it became the building ground for the new invention. Tita was able to work as a full-fledged engineer equal to the adults around her for the first time. She was also treated no differently than anyone else, meaning that Erica's demands were constant and relentless. That was the source of true happiness for Tita. Finally, two weeks later... Oh, there it is. All done! Alright, time to begin our activation test. I think we could probably do with a little break. We've been working almost constantly for three whole days now. How do you still have so much energy, Mom? And how do you have so- how do you two have so little? Pull yourselves together, people. The best part of developing something new is about to begin. That goes for you especially, Tita. Me? The seat in our prototype here is on the small side, so there's no way anyone other than you is going to be able to sit in it. So you're going to need to be a part of our test until the very end. I know. Please let me have some sleep first. Well, okay. Only because you said please. It's better than trying to do the test today when you're in this state and ending up with a bunch of mistakes being made. She's done very well, in my opinion. Not even most veteran engineers can keep up with your working pace. I'm amazed that our little daughter did it on her first project. What exactly are you implying? That I'm some kind of machine with limitless stamina? Okay. So that's the activation test penciled in for Friday the 28th. Uh -huh. Wait, tomorrow's Friday. Yes, it is. Why do you ask? I need to start cooking then. I finished running all the necessary stimulations using the capel. Should be able to perform to roughly the intended specifications, but... Tita, what's the rush? Grandpa, I just realized tomorrow's the last Friday of the month. Ah, uh, yes. That's when Agate's coming, isn't it? Yeah, I need to start getting things ready for tomorrow... Ready for tomorrow's food. Well, if you're taking requests, I... What the heck? <laughs> Agate? Oh, that was just, okay, that was just an effect for her getting, you know, protective mommy mode. I'm not sure I follow. What's special about the last Friday of the month? Whoops, I forgot to tell you. This is going to be your first time meeting Agate, isn't it? You see, he comes over here to visit once a month and tomorrow's that day. So. Oh, so our dear friend Agate is visiting. Is he? <laughs> what a coincidence that he should choose the day of our test to make his arrival. He sure is a lucky man. <laughs> um, mom. Well, you see, Tita, your mother, um... Are you gonna destroy that crate? <laughs> yeah, you are. Dan, darling, I just had a brilliant idea. I decided that tomorrow's tests are going to require a sacrifice. <laughs> we could just let any old person come over to our house for no good reason, right? They need to make a contribution to the family. I hope you're ready, Agate Crossner. She's gonna commit murder? <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're saying you want Agate to help with the test, right? I'm not sure I'd recommend that, Erica. He's a useless doll where technology's concerned. I can't see him being much help. Help? Oh, I'm expecting a lot more than that from him. I'm expecting him to offer his very life in the name of science. What? Oh, <laughs> come on now, Erica. This is no time for being silly. I'm not opposed to having him help out, though. I'd like the chance to have a good long talk with him myself. You too, Dad? Well, it's settled. Today's gonna be a good day. A very, very good day. Um... Is it just me, or do they seem to have Agate all wrong? Side story, Orbital Gear Protection- Oh, my word. Oh, part one! There's gonna be a part two. That makes sense. Makes sense that there would be. Thank you, Adios. You're alright. Are you feeling okay? You look quite tired. I'm fine. I did have to fight some scary enemies, but I managed to pull through. That's good. 
So what happened there? Well, yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> I see. Yep, sounds like this is another one of our rules, all right. In other words, first you need to meet some condition or conditions to get the door to open. After that, you fight your way through a battle or trial, win and you get to see some kind of memory fragment and walk away with Mira as a bonus. That sums things up. Yeah, that's how it was for me. The memory fragment didn't feel like it was quite finished though. There seemed to be more than that I didn't get to see. More I didn't get to see. Yeah, there's a second part. Maybe there's more than one pattern to these door then. Doors then words. Either way, every time we find one, we should probably note its location and conditions down. Indeed. Memory doors are located throughout the game. will allow you to see various optional scenes. In all, there are three types of doors. Moon doors contain lengthy side stories. Star doors contain short start side stories. And sun doors contain mini games. Okay. In order to open a door, you'll need to fulfill one or more multiple conditions. Furthermore, some doors will require certain characters to win a battle. In order to view contents within, viewing contents of a door, first time you'll earn Mira, yada yada. All this information is automatically recorded in the notebook. Finally, you can also warp to any door you do- Yo, that's amazing, actually. I like that. So if we run into a door and we don't have the character, we can just warp back to it. That's where I came from. Yeah, that was a that was a neat little sequence with Tita. Get wrecked. It's not gonna hit the middle one, but that's fine. Lots of red sepit there. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. I can't wait to get more characters and see what's up with these, uh, and get more of those side stories. Ow. We'll do our best to get every door. At least the side story ones, because those, if anything, those are going to be the doors I want to do. The ones that give you, like, lore and character moments. I need a range move so badly. I mean, I have smoke cannon, but like a ranged art. Prepare to meet your doom. Bum 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 ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum. Get wrecked. No, you're still alive. Yeah, with Reese and Airstrike, you're done. Didn't even need the wind. I came from here. Blue, I'm pretty sure, is going back. 